And so I've learned because of the ability to take a blank piece of paper or a blank canvas and transform it into a work of art that we can pretty much create anything we want. And I think Jay kind of testified to that. I have a strong belief that whatever we have in our minds, if we believe in it enough, we can manifest it. And it's really why we're here. It's why this gathering is here today. And so over the course of the last 18 plus years, since 1999, I've been very honored and blessed to have created over 200 public art projects. And not alone, as you'll see in just a few minutes, if you've had a chance to witness this work, this is work created and designed by our youth. So I'm very passionate about empowering these students. And so we have now close to 40,000 young people throughout the city who are claiming these projects as their own because they are the co-creators of this work. And so this begins our journey in placemaking. So this is just a collage of a fraction of these 200 plus projects. And so these are in neighborhoods that we are strategically targeting to ensure that if that child never comes across the street to the MFA, or never goes across the street to the Contemporary Arts Museum, or to all of these wonderful art spaces here in the museum district. And it's a surprise we think, oh, of course people do. But I meet children time and time again for a variety of reasons that never come to these spaces. So I built this ideology that we would turn the city of Houston into a gallery space. And we would go to those who could not come to us by creating these public art projects in their community so that as they drive down their streets or as they play in their school playgrounds, they get a chance to experience and participate in the creative process by not only looking at the work, but being co-creators of it. And, here, and so out of that came this project called the Sacred Site Quest. And Jay mentioned it earlier. We would take up to 30 high school kids who came from all across the city and we'd visit sacred spaces, churches, cathedrals, temples, mosques, and we would create a public art project at the culmination of this tour. Because we ended up making this labyrinth in Freedman's Town and it was an amazing experience. But it was the catalyst for what I'm doing now. And that's using the labyrinth as a tool for building community. And so that following year, we ended up creating um, the Freedman's Town Labyrinth. And it was all about bringing these kids together, bringing the community together to celebrate the history of Freedman's Town, another historic African-American community. Here are just slides of that work in progress. And here's an aerial view of the final piece. Uh, you can imagine these kids seeing their work from this perspective, another awe-inspiring opportunity for them. Uh, and that launched us into a new opportunity. And so